Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement Huffman tree and codes. Already, we have discussed what is Huffman tree and Huffman codes. And also, we discussed about Huffman algorithm. Now, with the help of Huffman algorithm, we are going to solve a problem step by step. Example, consider a five symbol alphabet A, B, C, D and underscore with the following occurrence of frequencies in a text made up of these symbols. So, symbol A frequency is 0.35, B 0.1, C 0.2 and D 0.2 and underscore it is 0.15. So, what is Huffman algorithm? First step, we have to initialize N one node trees and label the symbols of the alphabet given. Then we have to record the frequency of each symbol in its trees root. Then arrange the nodes with frequencies or weights in ascending order. Step 2, repeat the following operation until a single tree is obtained. That is, find two subtrees with the smallest weight, make them as a left and right subtree of a new tree, record the sum in the root. These steps you have to repeat until you will get a single tree. And the tree constructed by the above algorithm is called Huffman tree and the code created with this manner in Huffman tree that is called Huffman code. Okay. So, these steps we need to follow to solve this problem. So, first step, initialize n one node trees. After initializing, arrange the n one node trees in ascending order. Okay. So, first, these symbols along with its frequency, we have to create it like a n one node tree. Okay. So, here, node A, it is 0.35. So, this is one node tree. Similarly, B, if you are considering, it is 0.1. And C, it is 0.2. Similarly, D also 0.2. And underscore it is 0.15. So, we have created n one node trees and these n one node trees we have to arrange them in ascending order. Okay. Every step we have to arrange them in ascending order. So, here if you want to arrange in ascending order 0.1 b comes first and then it is 0.15 underscore and then it is 0.2 c and then it is 0.2 D and then it is 0.35 A. Okay. Now, this is the N one node tree we have created and we have arranged them in ascending order. Okay. Next is step 2. Find two trees with the smallest weight and make them as a left and right subtree of the new tree. Record the sum of their weights in the root of the new tree. Repeat these steps until you will get a single tree. Okay. So, now first two trees with the smallest weight you need to add. So, if you are adding 0 0.1 and 0 0.15 you will get 0.25 as the sum. This sum you have to record it at the root of the new tree and B will be the left subtree, underscore will be the right subtree. And also every step you need to arrange this N node tree in ascending order according to their weights. Okay. So, if, if you are adding these two in the sense, you will get 0.25, right? 0.25, you have to record this sum at the root and the left subtree will be B with 0.1, this one, and the right subtree will be underscore with 0.15, right? So, this is 0.25 and we have to arrange it in ascending order, okay? So, 0.2C and 0.2D comes first. So, if you are comfortable, you do the step separately and then arrange in ascending order. So, here I am combining while adding itself, I am arranging in ascending order. Okay. So, 0.2 C, it is 0.2 D, you will get it. Right. And then 0.25 with B and underscore, then 0.35 with A. So, this is the new step we got. These two trees we have combined. Next also, same procedure, step 2 only. Find two trees with the smallest weight. Make them as a left and right subtree. Record the sum in the root. Okay. 0.2 plus 0.2, you will get it as 0.4. So, it is 0.4. You will record it at the root. And then the left subtree will be C with 0.2. And right subtree will be D with 0.2. Okay. So, this is the new tree we got after adding these two. And also, we have to arrange in ascending order. Accordingly, I have written. So, it is 0.4. So, 0.25 is least. So, here comes 0.25 with B and underscore. 
b with point 1 and underscore with point 15 right and then point 35a so now this step we have arranged in ascending order okay next step also find two trees with the smallest weight so now these two will be the smallest weight add these two trees so now if you are adding in the sense you will get 0.25 plus 0.35 you will get it as 0.6 so it is 0.6 will be at the root and the left sub tree will be this one that is 0.25 with b it is 0.1 and underscore it is 0.15 and then this will be at the right sub tree that is 0.35a now its sum is 0.6 and this one is 0.4 okay so here i am arranging in ascending order as it is c with 0.2 and d with 0.3 so now there is only two trees okay now add these two so if you are adding these two trees in the sense 0.4 plus 0.6 you will get it as 1.0 that will be placed at the root and the left sub tree will be this 0.4 that is 0.4 with the c as its left sub tree with 0.2 and d as its right sub tree with 0.2 so now its left sub tree is over right sub tree is this one that is 0.6 and then 0.25 with its left as b with the 0.1 and right as underscore with 0.15 okay and then its right sub tree as a with 0.35 so now if you are considering we got a single tree these steps we have to repeat until we will get a single tree this single tree is nothing but hoffman tree the tree created by implementing the hoffman algorithm that is find two trees with the smallest weight in every step and make them as a left and right sub tree of a new tree record the sum of the weight in the root repeat the step until we will get a single sub tree this single sub tree is nothing but the hoffman tree and how we are going to implement hoffman code in the sense the left leg that is the left sub tree everything we have to mark it as zero whatever the left sub tree or left node that is there that we have to mark it as zero that is zero this is zero this is right one and this is left zero this is left zero right so every left sub tree in all levels we have to mark it as zero and the right sub tree in all levels we have to mark it as 1 so here this right sub tree is 1 this is right sub tree 1 this is right sub tree 1 this is right sub tree 1 okay so here how we will create the hoffman code in the sense in the hoffman tree all the left sub tree or left nodes we have to mark it as 0 and the right nodes we have to mark it as 1 okay now the resulting code words are for the letter a you have to consider from root to its leaf level where the symbol presents from root to its leaf level if you are considering the hoffman code in the sense that is nothing but code word for a so code word for a is 1 1 okay and the code word for b is from root to its leaf level of that symbol we need to consider that is 1 0 0 so code word for b is 1 0 0 and the code word for c is 0 0 and the code word for d is 0 1 and code word for underscore is 1 0 1 so these are all the resulting code words for the given symbol so these code words we have identified by implementing the hoffman algorithm and the tree constructed the final tree that is the single tree we got by implementing hoffman algorithm that is called the hoffman tree and the codes implemented for the left and right sub tree nothing but every left sub tree in the hoffman tree we have to mention it like zero and the right sub tree we have to mention it like one okay and from the root to the leaf level of the particular symbol if you are considering the codes in the sense that is nothing but the hoffman code so here how we will encode and decode using hoffman codes in the sense for example if i wanted to encode dad 
in the sense for d the code word is 0 1 okay and for a code word is 1 1 again for d code word is 0 1 so if i want to encode the text dad in the sense i have to implement 0 1 1 1 0 1 and if i want to decode 1 double 0 double 1 0 double 1 0 1 triple 1 0 1 so this is encoding and if I want to decode this bit strings to text in the sense, here I have to consider like 100 zero zero in the sense, I have to use this D, double 1 in the sense, it is A, and then 0, 1, it is D, and then it is 101 one is there. Okay, so it is for underscore, and then so here you have to consider only double one okay so it is for a double one is for a and zero one for d so the decoded text is bad underscore a d this is the decoded text in this way only you have to implement encoding and decoding for each letter of the text what is the code word that you have to place it while decoding what is the bit symbol for that you have to place the text so in this way only you have to implement encoding and decoding using Huffman codes. So, this is nothing but Huffman tree and Huffman code we have discussed with one example. In the next session, we will discuss one more example to implement Huffman tree and Huffman codes. Thank you for watching this video.